We're going to go now to our series, The Science of You. This morning, new research focusing on the type of sleeper you are. Becky Worley has the details. Good morning, Becky. George, good morning. Here's the question. Are you a night owl, an early bird, or somewhere in between? The scientific concept of your chronotype can help decode your sleep patterns and help you work with them instead of against them. Good morning. It's 545. Arkansas middle school teacher and mom, Emily Harrell, says she's always been up and at them. Do you describe yourself as an early bird? I've always been more productive in the mornings. I have such a hard time getting stuff done in the afternoon. Sometimes when I'm wanting to run errands, I'm like ready to go at 7.30 in the morning and a lot of places aren't even open. So I have to just kind of twiddle my thumbs until it's time to go. Whether you're a morning person who's waiting for the grocery store to open or a night owl who gets their best work done at midnight, understanding your chronotype and its implications might be of help. Our society is set up to favor the early bird. And I think that night owls kind of get a bad rap. Your chronotype is the characterization of when you prefer to go to bed and wake up. And scientists are only beginning to unlock this aspect of human behavior, which can be inherited, suggesting a DNA link. But it can also be influenced by factors like age and gender. We have a whole set of genetics that control 24-hour rhythms in the body, including sleep-wake cycles. But what happens when our natural chronotype doesn't match with the rest of our life, like work? Someone with a later chronotype might feel more dragged out and tired during the day if they're waking up too early. They also can develop more of an insomnia at the beginning of the night because they might be trying to go to bed earlier than their body wants. But it is possible to change your natural rhythm. You can train yourself to be a little more of a night person or a little more of a morning person. It's not your fault. And it doesn't mean you're lazy. It doesn't mean that you can't succeed. It means you have to put in a little more effort to find a routine that works for you. So how can you alter your chronotype? Experts say changing your regular waking, eating, and exercise times and keeping them consistent is one way to shift your chronotype. But Dr. Grandner says, do it gradually. You don't want changes to be abrupt. It's more like you've traveled over a few time zones, aim for one or two hours of shift. Also, you can work with your chronotype. Emily, our mom and teacher from the piece, says if she's out at night with friends, she tries not to be the driver because she just gets sleepy. Guys, remember the last time we were up late? 8.30, 8.45? Ooh, that's rough for us, right? 1876. <laughs> Thank you, Becky.